The conclusion of White Lotus Season 2 is soon. It won't be long until we learn whose body Daphne found swimming in the ocean, whose resort visitors were found dead, and whether Mia will ever realize that being a lounge singer isn't the same as being a musical sensation. The latest HBO preview for the White Lotus Season 2 finale is chock full of tantalizing hints about Tanya's fate, Albie's risky relationship with Lucia, and the idea that Ethan will kill Cameron for allegedly having a relationship with his wife Harper. We certainly had plenty of material for fan speculations after seeing the White Lotus Season 2 Episode 6. While Portia heard some ominous secrets from Jack, Tanya seems to learn that Quentin knew about her mysteriously absent spouse Quentin. While Valentina distracted herself on her birthday, Albie's father and grandfather Bert witnessed firsthand the difficult relationship between Lucia and her pimp. So what happens next? Let's break down what the White Lotus Season 2 finale preview teases for the HBO show's final episode of the year that's the White Lotus Season 2 finale trailer. The most tantalizing moments all seem to be Ethan-focused. 06 The Moan Zone. Still reeling from Ethan's hyper-detailed vision of his wife holding him on a table in the White Lotus Season 2 Episode 6? Well, it looks like our boy's at it again. This time he's imagining Cameron sleeping with his wife right next to him in his own dang bed. There is definitely something Ethan should unpack with a therapist. 029 Ethan punches Cameron. Well, well, well it looks like Ethan's finally going to punch that smug rich boy face. This fight is happening in the water which means we could finally know who the corpse in the sea is. 045 Ethan choking Cameron underwater. Oh, yeah, HBO definitely wants us to think Cameron is the dead body in the water. So much so I'm now convinced it's not Cameron. But it could be. What's in the The White Lotus Season 2 finale preview? Starting with Sicily. Daphne asks Ethan while relaxing in a beach lounger, you okay? The past few days, you didn't really seem like yourself. Ethan is shown lying in bed, wide awake and gazing up at the ceiling. In the bed next to him, he is daydreaming about Cameron having sex with Harper. Which is absolutely normal and not being paranoid. Not. Actually, Harper is simply dozing next to him. Cut to Quentin's Palermo villa. Has anyone seen Portia, Tanya queries. My luck with assistance is this. While Quentin's friend scans the room, Quentin simply smirks. I'm following their instructions, and then they vanish, says Tanya. We see Portia in Jack's arms at their hotel. She looks incredibly uncomfortable and like she wants to escape his grasp. The ocean agitates. You're just going to to go through life trying to save every desperate female you come across, Dominic asks his son back at the resort. There's a dude chasing her, Albie responds. Albie is seen tenderly stroking Lucia's hair as she lies on his bare chest, her eyes filled with tears. Literally, a bell chimes. I know you did something, Ethan adds in voiceover as he follows Harper while gazing at her. It's not like you found a condom on the couch, Harper says in voiceover as we watch Ethan storm outside and into a garden. Their chamber is where we cut to them. Ethan screams and thumps his chest angrily. The difference is, I didn't do anything. We then see Ethan sucker punch Cameron in the sea. On the season finale is written in a crying over swirling water. Portia can then be seen saying over the phone, I feel like something horrible is occurring. We see another image of her telling Jack, I need to get back to Tyramina, like, right immediately, when they are in a car. He averts his gaze. The next cryin' says every vacation over a cross on a tiny island. Dominic asks, can we just act like that never happened? After Albie responds, Lucia is seen turning slowly towards the direction of the camera. Following Cryon is over water receding from a beach and Reed's comes to an end. Cameron is flossing his teeth and says in voiceover. To friendship, to travel, to the good life. There's a quick montage of Cameron touching Harper's lip, Cameron being choked underwater by Ethan, and then Tanya on a yacht. She waves at someone. Valentina straightens her uniform as she stalks through the halls of the resort. Finally we see Cameron, Daphne, Ethan and Harper with their champagne flutes. The final quick montage also shows us Mia at the piano, Bert at dinner with a bandage on his head still, Daphne looking back at someone on the beach, and then a shot revealing it's Ethan. Paramedics lift a body covered in black plastic onto a gurney, 
and then a sleek-looking black casket is pushed into the back of a hearse. The last shot is of Harper asking her husband Ethan, what's going to happen to us?